Hey guys, Mrs. Z here. I woke up to the sound of an airplane this morning and I knew the crop duster was near. Here he comes. Yes, that is indeed what's going on this morning. The crop duster is spraying. I just texted Brian to ask him what they're spraying for in our corn. And he said they're spraying fungicide, which is for diseases, and insecticide, which is for bugs. We have been noticing a lot of Japanese beetles lately in my strawberry bed and my blackberry patch and even on my flowers, the roses in front of the barn. So this hopefully will help take care of that, but mostly it's to protect that corn so we can have a good corn harvest this fall. Hey guys, I want to show you what insects do if you don't get rid of them. They can totally destroy your crop. This is my strawberry bed. Just a small little strawberry bed. Remember we picked some strawberries and made strawberry jam and strawberry pie from this bed. Last night we were out here and we noticed some bugs crawling all over the leaves. And look what they have done to those leaves. Isn't that awful? They just totally riddle those leaves. They eat those leaves until there is nothing left. There's some healthy leaves just to the right of all of those leaves with holes in them. That was done by Japanese beetles. We saw them out here and we mixed up some chemical, some chemical with water and we sprayed those Japanese beetles and it doesn't look like I see any today so it must have done the trick. Now we cannot eat anything off of these strawberry plants for 24 hours after we spray. But if we didn't spray for those Japanese beetles, we would have no strawberry plants left. And that's the same thing they can do to the cornfield. It's amazing how grasshoppers, beetles, worms can destroy your corn crop in a very short amount of time. So it's important that we watch for them and that we spray them to get rid of them if we want a harvest of corn. We have had 8.1 inches of rain this past week and my goodness, we feel like we're living in a puddle these days. So there is absolutely no way that a farmer can go out and check his corn and see that there's a problem and need to spray and get in there with a ground sprayer. But he can hit that corn with a crop, with a crop duster. So here we get to watch this wonderful sight out our back door. Here he comes again, I can hear him. fungicide and insecticide on all of that corn out there. There's the result of a storm we had that began that rain a week ago. Blew that old oak tree right on over. And I can hear him coming in again. Isn't that cool? 
Man, if it wasn't for that crop duster, there would be no way of getting in that cornfield to spray for those bugs and diseases. Just keeps getting a little bit closer. And it's a fun way to spend a Saturday morning. How cool is that? I would love to know how many gallons of spray that plane carries. If you know, leave me a comment in the comment section. Wouldn't it be fun to climb in that cab and ride with him? I don't know if you call that a cab or not. The place where the pilot sits. But that's not Brian up there or John, so I can't ask him for a ride. Isn't that cool? Boys and girls, would you like to fly one of those crop dusters? And they call it a crop duster because you're dusting or putting a spray on the crops. Cool. About the highlight of my day. Can't get any better than this. And the day is just beginning. I just remember, guys, it's not a cab of a plane, it's a cockpit. The place where the pilot.
it looks like he's moved on to another field on the other side of those trees. So I think we'll sign off for now. Wasn't that the coolest adventure we had together this morning? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Doesn't get any better than that on the farm. Thanks for joining me. Hey, be sure and like and subscribe so you'll catch more fun adventures at Hickory Creek Farms. Bye.